Welcome, Danish. Hey, welcome, guys. Welcome, everyone. Uh, so today I will talk to you about the name of Google Dagflow. So let's proceed. So our agenda today, we walk through, we walk through on the platform on Google Dagflow, and we create an agent that's using a real-life scenario, such as ordering a pizza, and uh, also we also, we train the agent and maybe finding some, adding some knowledge base to make it more uh, very interactive and very smart. And also, we do a phone conversation using our mobile phone to talk to our agent like a real life person. So let's next. So, what is Diagflow? Well, Diagflow, formerly known as API.ai, is a Google owned developer human interaction, uh, computer interaction technology based on natural language conversation. So, yes. Diagflow is, uh, is using natural language processing, which is which means that uh, it uh, allows it to understand human language uh, and uh, understand what the intent. So it is very very important that uh, that uh, when you see on your agent, on your assistant, and your on your Google assistant and on Siri, uh, they're using natural language processing. So Diagflow also use that uh, principle to understand human language and uh, understand what they intend to say. So how Diagflow flow work? Well, we have uh, our user and also we have our device. So uh, there's two ways to interact with your agent. First, you have your text-to-speech uh, text -to uh, ways and speech-to-text. So the agent will be uh, understands those two ways to interpret it and then allow it to, to match uh, the intent of what you're saying. And then we'll be extract those uh, keywords that allow him to know what you're saying. And also, it will uh, under, try to understand to reply you uh, the correct answer, the correct way uh, what you're meant to, to be, and also it allow you to, to also expand its knowledge. So the more the more uh, way you talk to your agent, it will allow it to understand easily, understand what you're saying, and it will uh, small, become small, smarter. So where that flow? Integrate well the surprise of that flow that uh, integrate it integrate on any uh, platform you have on your Slack yes uh, you have on your Google Assistant yes by the way your Google Assistant is powered by Dagflow so it's very interesting that the Google Assistant what what it can do in the real life but uh, now we can have the ability to customize your agent to do everything that you want to do uh, you can even do some things that very extraordinary that you can't even imagine that your agent can do that. As a question, it's very, very fast. You have also telephone base. Yes, you can call that agent. It will have a physical number. You can call it and do everything interactive with that. So, but, uh, well, let's uh, do our table. Get back to here. Yes, this is uh, your dad flow console so well on your console you have uh, two versions of the flow the Diagflow cx when you on the top it's a new feature that uh, google has added uh, recently uh, allow you to build more more advanced support uh, using more powerful uh, algorithm machine learning algorithm so but it is paid so everything's not free for google unfortunately but we will using as an essential because uh, this one is a different uh, interface they provided but let's use this one so how let's uh, let's create a new agent to create a new agent it's very easy you have to get on your yeah, just create new agent let's uh, do a same scenario like a pizza delivery and here you will have have the language support, you have the rest language it, it support by the assistant when you're working. So let's switch to English. The time zone is the same. And if you, if you have any existing project, but uh, let, if you could automatically create a new project, so let it be. So set as a mega agent. So this option allow you to set your agent. Uh, if you have several sub agent, you want to encapsulate everyone in a big agent. So this is the option to uh, encapsulate your agent, every every agent you have created on Diagflow to make it in a one big thing. So just uh, enable this option. But uh, for the stable purposes, we will not enable this option. So let's create our agent. So it will take quite a time to create your agent.
Good. So our agent has been created. So to configure our agent to use a real life server option, we will have the ability to, to do the option. So let's get back to our option. So we have a general uh, tab. So this will allow to write some detail about your agent, but we left it uh, like it is. So this one will allow you to use the latest features that provide you on the tag flow. So you have beta version or everything that uh, have beta which allow you to use that. So let's enable this. And local interaction, yes. You, uh, could, you have a dialogue flow, have a query system that allow you to log all your interaction, all your training word, every conversation, if we keep it on a, on a look. So this will be used by as an analytic uh, later on for more viewer and more understanding what is going on, how the agent is behaving. You can look your interaction on a uh, lookout, but we let it uh, here. But and but this one we don't want to delete our agent, so let's go. So language uh, like it is, we'll just uh, let it English. But you can add other languages to make the agent understand two ways: language French or English. But uh, we left, left this part uh, as it is. Well, machine learning setting. So this will allow. This is an option that allow to train your agent. So it has the ability to train your agent based on the information you have given. So you make it uh, more smarter and more understandable, understandable when you talk. So it's very very interesting about that uh, part. But uh, this uh, option uh, allow you to when you write your intent, uh, your conversation, it will automatically train your agent uh, on the runtime. So you don't need to click that button to allow your training agent. So let's this part enable it. And then we save it. On the export uh, import, so you have two ways to export. Uh, if, if you have an agent that has been created on another account you can import it uh, here it will automatically upload all its uh, configuration and everything so you have those two options or you can export your delivery pizza uh, uh, agent to another platform if you want uh, to integrate it environment uh, we get it here because we have not yet published our we have not do any integration to our, our agent so here so here uh, we have uh, the feature quality so this one uh, we call not anybody because this uh, is a very interesting uh, 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 options that allow you if you talk a fuzzy word or misunderstanding or some if you might say what but the agent uh, don't know what to say but this allows you to keep back your agent's uh, word everything what you say it will keep it as a as a model enhancement so we can't enable it unfortunately we have to use enterprise so this one automatically use a speech auto speech adaptation so TV and text to speech so if you have uh, a kind of an option that uh, on chatbot uh, or everything so you want to integrate our or in a set support application you can enable this option to, to, to enable uh, text to speech and here this option uh, basically you ability to change the voice of your agent so it can be a male or female or anyone you want to add uh, the tone so it's up to you to configure your speech so you can write your agent's voice uh, you can configure the speed rating the speech and the volume gain so uh, it, you can make it like a female or male it's up to you to decide what the voice you want to add on your, uh, on your agent and uh, the share you can want to contribute to that agent so the share option advanced yes this is a very nice nice uh, option that uh, google offer if uh, sentiment analysis that uh, if you if you write a text to text uh, text based uh, word on the chatbot if you write something that a uh, very very harsh word the agent has the ability to understand what uh, what uh, the what you are writing if you very sad you want to write some words that they uh, meant to decide or something very harsh, uh, just rude words. So the agent will have the ability to understand what your sentiment uh, meant by those words. So it's a very interesting part of all too, but unfortunately it's a surprise. So let's see our option. So let's get back to our building uh, block. Well, intent. So Intent. Intent is a word. So basically, you and the agent 
uh, it's a conversation based block. So every since you, you interact with your agent, you have the, the intent is here. So if you want to say hello to your agent, it will uh, on the intent you can define your rules and you can define the, what the agent can be said. So it's our block uh, working block uh, between you and the agent to interact. So when you first time create a new agent, you have two option intent already available as a welcome intent. The fallback intent, if uh, you say something out of context, uh, it will allow you, it will automatically say someone that you have to get back to your flow. The welcome intent, the welcome intent uh, will allow you to say welcome and say hi when you the first person uh, want to start a conversation. So it's our starting point for our flow. So let's start our conversation. It is already predefined those uh, conversations. So the training phase already predefined. Well, we don't need to add more. But here we don't want those contexts. So let's remove it. Let's add our response. So response is that uh, when you're replying, when you're using those words that your agent added response when you the answer. The same to provide. You can provide various answers of the same uh, context, so the agent will pick up uh, randomly or the most appropriate. So let's uh, write something. Welcome to Mega Pizza. How oh. can I help you? So, yes. So let's help you. So it's good. So we have our first response by the eight bot. So we can provide another response. So if you want, if you want your agent to be more smarter, provide various answer and various training for it because the agent will have the ability to understand any jargon or any word, English words. So it's very, very important to provide more data and more phrases to, uh, to make the agent more uh, smart to understand uh, what you meant to say. So, yeah, pizza. Okay, so let's uh, provide our two, two intent, but you see this this uh, key this part you allow you if you have a Google Assistant on your mobile phone you can provide custom code design or if you have Facebook on your messenger especially you can provide like a, a code uh, design or a like a, a template so you have a phone gateway it will also uh, give you response but if you want uh, let's have a assistant so yeah. as you you have uh, it will use the first response from the default tab and if you want to add very nice beautiful design on like a text based option you can add a card a basic card a list of such as ships a carousel card a basic card you can add uh, like an image you are it will automatically uh, provide you a your logo company suppose you want your mega pizza have its own logo so you can provide here it and then you have welcome the agent will automatically give you that card uh, like a and uh, welcoming but uh, we leave it blank here, and also we have many integrations like uh, Viber or Line, Telegraph, uh, even Skype. So, but uh, let it be like this one. We don't uh, want to get uh, more in depth on that. So let's go on that. And then, as you see that uh, this option, if uh, uh, it will automatically end the whole flow, but we will not allow this to be end because we have many flow to be followed. So let's uh, make another flow. So let's save it for oh, welcome. Now let's make an, another intent. So, so if the person uh, say want to know what kind of pizza does this company does this company uh, offer, so very well, let's uh, write a new intent for time. So then here we add uh, our text phrase, uh, text phrase here, training. So the training is a uh, word that you provided when you talk to the agent. So it's an uh, end user word that allow you to interact with your agent. So 
let's uh, uh, write some typical human interaction word. Let's say normally when you order pizza, what? Okay, this one is done. And And also we can use typical jargon. Okay, so we provide free uh, training phrase. We get, you can provide more, it's up to you how many you want to uh, make it, but let's uh, get back here. So this part, uh, I will get back to the next intent, I will talk more about those uh, spots in detail, in detail. So let's give a response, how the agent will reply. So we provide some pizza menu. So, Okay. Okay, we already provide this one, and then uh, let it be. Let's save it. Now, when a user don't know what menu, what menu does uh, the Mega Pizza offer, he can ask those special keywords that uh, are uh, on the agent to automatically reply it with that. So let it be, and then let's create our. Let's get back to our order. Let's create a new intent order, the main principle intent order. Okay. Now let's uh, let's write some typical command uh, order that the end user said. Order. Well, the agent will not know what is the order. That's the first. That's why we something called action and parameters. So action parameters is that the agent has the ability to understand very important keywords. So you say address if it knows the address. So you say fish it knows animals. So it has a, it has a power of machine learning behind to know what uh, the entities, what keyword uh, the person said. So it will automatically identify those keywords. So to create a custom keyword on pizza, let's get back. Let's save this uh, for the time being. We'll just remove it later. Let's get back to entities. So entities allow you to create your types and your customized keyword. So first, uh, we have a system assigned. System assigned is that the agent already have it on its system, so the, on the machine learning. So every keyword, everything that the uh, agent has the ability to understand, it will already know. So we have to provide it custom, so to make it more smarter based on our context uh, scenario. So let's create one entity. So first, to, create a, to have all the pizza, we have the size of the pizza. Let's create entity size. Define synonym. Yes, you can have uh, various synonym related to your. Uh, if you said regular, it means medium, or it's a M, it means medium. So it will automatically uh, identify those similarities. And also, regular expression, if you write some uh, word regular expression, so this will allow you to, to correct, and it's very nice. And allow automated expansion, this uh, allow you, if you write, write some various uh, keywords. That, not defined here, but it is related to that uh, size. If you automatically expand the entity storage space, so it's an automation automation uh, function. So it's very important to enable this. And then for the word, like I said, if you if you write some word like uh, a large, you made large uh, like that, but uh, it will automatically know that this is large. So for the word, it's very important. So people have tendency to write uh, some uh, fuzzy word, but let's create our Entities. First, we have small. We call it S, and people can give it capital. Let's give various uh, small. Okay. Now we move to forward to 
our large, uh, let's big, uh, make it large. Large. Uh, and and big so sometimes people say big pizza so b and here we just provide uh, give it medium uh, m uh, and also let's give it regular so people tend to say regular. good very nice so let's save our entities good so once our entity is done let's create an another entity called types Types. So types allow you to uh, give you which kind of pizza do you want to come Hawaiian, seafood, or any kind of pizza you have on the menu. So let's uh, create our these types. We enable those options. If you want to add more, let's. OK. People call it pine. pineapple pizza. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> oh, and so that's right. Let's just correct this one. Let me correct this one. So pepperoni and then write our it's important to provide uh, a small capital, a small letter, some when you use text based uh, interaction. So and then that's our loss is uh, you can buy you can okay good well now we have saved our types and also we lost the entities we can add is topping so this will be used later okay let's Okay. Okay, good. So it's good now. Let's save it. Very nice. Okay, now we have created our intent. Let's get back to our order intents. So now you know that uh, this is not highlighted. So let's create a, a scenario that uh, like an end user would want to say when you order a pizza. Too large. Uh, what? Yeah. Yes. Order. Okay. Good. This number. Hawaiian. Then here you define your types. Hawaiian, and then large will be our type sizes. Okay. Good. One. Okay, only and to let's provide various uh, regular seafood, seafood. So here we can provide a like a M capital one medium, so it will be. Types, sizes, 
And also here, let's define like a number, system number, and here we define system number. No, it's not system number. Sizes, so sizes. Okay, see for it. Okay, let's save it. I try to make it more understandable. Okay. I think it's back to entities because we might have also each management. So we provide more. Save it, and then we are supposed to be good now. So here you see that you, our engine is automatically trained. So let it uh, be trained uh, on runtime. So let's uh, provide more detail to that. Then, as you see that uh, you have see various uh, various uh, parameter keywords has been extracted uh, when the agent when you write the training phrase. So if there are some ones does not mention one of those uh, keywords, uh, uh, those keywords. So you have the ability to prompt the user to, to give him the answer, uh, the correct answer. So let's call, uh, if someone uh, forget to tell how many pizza he want to command, so let's give it a scenario. So, it's probably rest. And then also, we did for the same, let's say. Okay, so we have from this one, let's prompt the size. Okay, so now we'll find our prompt. Good, so let's uh, try to write the... Uh, let's write hazard in phrase. Uh, More training phrase. So, so, OK. 
Okay, so it's supposed to be saved. Just check an option was supposed to. Okay, no. So I will save it. What? It's disabled option on the MS settings, so we are automatically trained. Okay, okay, this one is same. Let's get back to our intent now. Okay, order is done. So then, uh, the agent we will prompt the user. Okay, so the, the, you have the ability to say uh, if if you have some topic to add it. So let's uh, save it. Now, uh, if the agent say yes, if the person say yes or no, we have the ability to provide uh, a follow-up intent. So follow-up intent is a flow. So you just get back here, you have customized uh, intent. So if the person say yes, it will prompt him which topping uh, would you like to add it. And if say no, it will summarize its order uh, directly. So let's do no. And then we do a yes on at the same time. So if you automatically create a follow-up intent, yeah. So here are the parameters that are uh, uh, which are on the top, uh, the pay right. So basically, this is the follow-up is the order is a pay right, and the order no it's a child. So it will the child will inherit all the parameter you have uh, set on that intent. You can display here. So it's very useful when you do an order. And this is all the parameters that uh, if you try to say one of those words, it will automatically get it and then it will reply you your answer. So how to refer a value? Well, basically, uh, let's write and summarize about your order. We use a hashtag or the follow-up. We write number it's a number and then we write hashtag and also the size and also the types types sorry so make sure that uh, to get the value from that uh, the value must be the same as it is defined here so we on the order order context so make sure it is the same so right here and one that's so good so great. So okay. So now uh, I would I would use this or context to be finalized later on. So I need to create its output context. So output context is that uh, it uh, allows you to declare like a declaration for on that for the context. So you can use a parameter based on that, and it will be very useful. So let's declare it order slash no. So, yeah, save it. Now let's get back if I said yes. If I said yes, so let's add the full intent, yes. So here. Yeah. So, so it just will ask me which kind of topping do that. Uh, what? So, so let it do uh, this one, and then we add a second follow-up bay on the top on that. So, it. So get back to our intent uh, here. I see that yes, I would like to add a follow-up intent if I say yes. 
So yeah, silent yes. Oh the yes, so we just remove it to just put all the yes add. So here and then uh, we remove uh, this part. I would like extra chicken. So some things is not normally happening, but it's supposed to be happens. Yeah. Let's get back to our entities. Uh, supposed to chicken talking types. Intuition is pending. Simple types and dumping. So, first. Okay, let's get back to it. Yeah. It's a uh, yes, so uh, yes, at, so yeah, we define it uh, as a dubbing. So, mm. Now, uh, if you want the agent to be proper, uh, uh, if the person said something out of context that don't uh, refer as chicken, cheese, and beef, so it can uh, prompt the message. So maybe required. Close it. Now everything is put down, so it is, yes, uh, so good. After that, then we create its context, so we will refer those values later on. So let's write its context, public context, to be referred. Yes, uh, slash. So, good. We save it. Very well, so now we have done or two ways of, uh, uh, if you want to be. Then we have to provide a response here. So the agent will summarize our all order. So to summarize the order from the top, we can call it a, a parameter here. So we call the order the parent uh, intent. Just remove this one. It's good. So let's summarize, save it. Then we add its uh, answer here. The order is so let's uh, follow up that number, the number of pizza, then start. Size and loss. Rotor types, but we need also the toppings. So to refer the topping value here, it's very easy. We just uh, with extra. We use this symbol. Yeah. So we use this one as. 
very important the same intent. If your value has been declared on a your action, your parameter has been declared here, so it's very easy to identify. Yeah, so good. So let's uh, let's uh, finalize it and then we save our intent here. Okay, great. Now we want to close our uh, block our flow, so we just stay on the scene. A final intent. So here to refer our intent uh, to trigger this intent directly, uh, we need to pass on yes or no. But if we if we go directly to that intent without passing, it will not uh, prompt that. So to make like a trigger, so it's very easy. We need to add order. No, if it is order, so if it is order, if it is order or order, yes, and so this one is lifespan. Lifespan uh, actually is that uh, it helps you when you. You do your intent uh, when you talk on your flow. If you go out of subject two times, uh, uh, not on the on the flow, it will automatically give, keep the uh, as a life the flow active until you give the proper answer. So each time you want to keep track uh, on your conversation on the flow, uh, uh, it will allow you to uh, give you a session that active that. Still, uh, your flow is, uh, but if you try to exceed the limit of your lab span, it will automatically reset from zero. So you will have to reorder again. So lifespan is uh, by default come by by five, but you have to you can put it two or one based on how many times the user try to say the correct uh, context uh, based on the flow. So we let it like five, and then uh, if you want to add more context, you can. Uh, but if you say yes or no, it will automatically trigger this one. But if you start by starting here, it just says hi, exactly, thank you here, it will automatically will not prompt that. So this is triggered uh, if uh, uh, one of those fulfillment, one of those intent has been fulfilled from the flow, then it will trigger this one. So let's provide that thank you word. Great, so that's good. So this one we just you know make it uh, smooth it this one. Okay, that's great. Okay. Then we provide a default answer. Great, so we are done our response. So let us set, let end the conversation here. Now we end our flow. So we enable this option. It's great. Now uh, let's uh, try to test it. Okay, so we have going out of context, so let's try to write another word. Okay, okay. yes, so. Regular. Mm, no. 
Uh, yes, sir. let me add yes. Uh, uh, what kind of topping uh, are like? Uh, maybe chicken? Chicken, yeah. There you go. That's why it takes up my order. So, two medium uh, pepperoni with chicken. So, I would like to say thank you. Thank you. So, that's great. See you soon. Now, our agent has the uh, ability to understand what I'm saying. So let's uh, do some knowledge base. So we get here. So basically, if you have an FAQ thing that uh, you want to add on your agent, like a FAQ thing, like you, make, you want to make your agent more understandable and more intelligent, so we can allow this to create the knowledge base. So let's create another image very quickly. So write it. Uh, it's a FAQ. Okay. Save it now. And then we have the ability to create our first document knowledge base. So you have, let's write it uh, in knowledge base. Space. Let's type. So let's. Uh, the HTML. So we have the cloud store. If you have some CSV file or any kind of file that have an FAQ type, so you can enable it on cloud storage or you can just get back on we, the copy paste. Daniel, sorry to interrupt. We are running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. It's nearly 50. Okay. So we just, uh, okay, let's forget our, let's do uh, the full interaction just quickly. So well, I will try to enable. Uh, an option on the phone. So, okay. Uh, okay. Do, uh, do it quickly. Let's quickly. Start one minute, please. Okay, sure. So, let's take a, a minute to create a number four. Let's, okay, let's that number four. And then, okay. Now, our is set up. So, let us. Uh, let us start call it uh, my mobile phone. So I'm contact here. So very quickly, very quickly. So I did contact on my phone. So it's a base US number. Unfortunately, we don't have Mauritius support, but uh, if you are abroad, you can integrate it uh, on your. So you contact. Let me call the. Agent, uh, okay, let me call agent. Okay. Hey there, welcome to the Mega Pizza. How can I do it for you? Hi, uh, I would like to order three large pepperoni pizza, please. Would you like some extra topping on your pizza? No. Three large pepperoni and Hawaiian with no extra topping, and our agent will be in contact with you for the delivery. Thank you very much. Thank you for ordering a nice pizza, and see you soon. Okay, bye. Yes, so I, like I said, I, I just tried to call the agent with a US number. So I'm sorry for the voice because uh, I have to configure the voice uh, properly to on the phone. That was that was so awesome, Danish. That was awesome. Yeah, you just replaced all the call centers in Mauritius. Yes, actually, uh, the power tools can be replaced. Very, very job. Yeah, that's, you can even good. transfer call to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, right. that's it for it. For Thank you, Danish. Thank you. you. Very cool, Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye everyone. Yep. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye Danish. Thanks.